Hi, my name is Noplet too. I was born in Myanmar, 1999. I have five brothers and five sisters, including me. Two of my siblings are passed away when I was not born. I am the younger child. Most of my siblings was born in a safe place, but me, when my mother gave birth to me, it was in the jungle. I was not born in a safe place because of persecution and war. My journey started when I was baby. My family had to run off for our village to hide it from the Burmese soldier. It was not always easy for us to find a safe place because there was a lot of Burmese soldiers in the Serrano area. When our parents found the place too high, we started to build a house and a farm. We stayed there for a year and the Burmese soldiers for our place and buried down. This is the day I remember the most. My family had to carry me on their back and ran away from the Burmese soldiers. I couldn't open my eyes to see what was going on. I, I could only hear people scream and cry. In 2003, my family moved to a re Kareni refugee camp in Thailand called Mesuri because of the civil war in Burma. We built our house with bamboo and used the leaf to cover the roof. Mesuri refugee camp was a good camp for people who need shadow and a place to call home. They also proved education for young people. When we live in Thailand refugee camp, me and my siblings have a chance to go to school. Even when we live in Thailand refugee camp, the education and the freedom were still not good for us. Also, we didn't have enough food to eat and didn't have the right to go out of the camp and find a job. We lived in Missouri refugee camp for eight years. In 2011, my parents decided to come to the United States because we heard that in America, there is a lot of opportunity and better education. Before my parents apply to immigrate to United States, they have to do multiple interviews and tests. In March 19, 2012, we have to leave our camp and come to United States. When I left the camp, I was very sad and cried because I have to leave behind my friends and relatives. We took three L plays, one from Thailand to Korea, the second from Korea to New York, and the third from New York to Cleveland, Ohio. It took us two days to arrive in the United States. In March 22, 2012, we arrived in Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland was a wonderful city and have a beautiful doctor. After a month passed by, me and my sibling have to go to school. The school we have to go to was Thomas Jefferson. People could only attend Thomas Jefferson High School for two years and then they have to move to other schools. I started school at 8th grade in 2013. And each day it was so difficult for me because I didn't know how to speak English and didn't understand what people were saying. Most of the students were Spanish and black people. Some of them was me and some of them was nice. All my teachers were very gentle and nice to me. They also encouraged me and trained me kindly. I lived in Cleveland, Ohio for two years and my family moved to a different city called Lewood because in Cleveland, the hospital was too expensive and there was a lot of shooting in the area where I lived. When I moved to Lewood, I went to a sc school called Lewood High School. I was in 10th grade. Most of my classmates were white people. Each day when I went to school, I faced so difficult because I am the only Asia in the class. I remember the time when I went into world history class, the teacher asked me a question and I started, I didn't understand and I started to cry. I lived in Lewu for a few months and my parents decided to move to Sipo, Minnesota because my parents heard that in Minnesota there was many corrupt 
people in there and it could be easy easily for them to exhale. In November 2014, my family moved to Sipo, Minnesota. When I moved to Sipo, Minnesota, I went to Washington Technology School. I want to thank my family to immigrate to this country. Now I have better education and more opportunity to do whatever I want.